the Museum of an Electronics Manufacturer in Nagoya. On display are products that the company has made over the years. Among them is this machine from 1992. An online karaoke machine. New songs are downloaded from a server through the phone line. Tracks can be stored on the internal hard drive and played back. New songs that were popular with young people were rapidly made available with this machine. It was really groundbreaking at the time. Other companies followed suit leading to current online services. Our story begins in 1985. The news broke that private companies would be allowed to compete in the formerly government-controlled telecommunications sector. Businesses would have the chance to use existing networks to facilitate new means of data transfer. One of the companies that saw the business potential in this was a printer and fax machine maker. As a foray into data transmission, the company developed this software vending machine. The device was set up in computer shops. You inserted your money, selected the game or program you wanted, and the software would be sent through the phone line. The data was written onto a floppy disk. This is Ikami Kazunori, an engineer who was in his fourth year at the company at the time. This is what he had heard about the vending machine. At the peak, there were about 300 machines. The data was written to a floppy disk on the spot, so as long as you had a machine running, you could sell software. One day, the company received a call. It was from a business connected with an art college. Our students have created audio sequencer versions of classical music in the public domain. Could you sell that data with your vending machines? Audio sequencer data has numerical values for all the instruments and notes in a song. Using special software and a chip which contains the sounds of various instruments like the piano or guitar, this music data can be played back as an audio track. The issue was whether the data could be sent over a phone line. But the file size was actually much smaller than a real audio recording, so it wouldn't be an issue. These data versions of songs were something like 300 or 1,000 times smaller. The files can be very lightweight. The development team agreed to the business's proposal. The music data was made available on the vending machines. But the company found that the music wasn't selling well. It wasn't a hit like they had hoped. Was there something else they could do related to music? The team had an idea. commercial karaoke machines found in bars and restaurants. It was a three billion dollar industry. The machines played songs off large laser discs. 
They took up a lot of space, so there was a limit to how many songs could be offered. You can fit about 30 tracks total on a laser disc. There were automatic disc loaders, but the machines were about the size of a fridge, just really large. This led the team members to come up with their concept of an online karaoke service. New songs would be kept on the company's server. Using the phone network and their vending machines, they would deliver music to the local karaoke devices. The music data would be stored on hard drives, which meant more songs and less physical space taken up. And so the concept for their karaoke service was set. The team got to work straight away. The first thing the team did was buy all the karaoke song catalogs that were available. They would find the most popular songs between catalogs and get permission to create the music data for them. Their search turned up some 3,000 songs to work on. Next, they procured the CDs which contained the tracks. But there was no way they'd be able to create the music data themselves. So the team turned to professional musicians for help. Musicians listened to the CDs and wrote down the sheet music for each instrument on each track. The information from the sheet music would then be entered into the computer. But there were 3,000 songs with multiple instruments to get through. It was a dizzying task. Creating the music data was the most important part. In order to create the data for 3,000 songs, we needed strength in numbers. We had about a hundred people working on it together in the end. It just took plain effort and dedication. The team made steady progress each day in front of the computers. One by one, the songs were put together. Now, the team needed to figure out the actual machine, which would be placed in the bars and restaurants. At the heart would be sound chips capable of reproducing the instruments in the sequencer data, like piano or guitar. These were the key components of synthesizers. Electronic instrument manufacturers made them. The team made repeated visits to a leading Japanese company in the field, hoping to secure their help. It took time, but eventually the company agreed. The components at the time lacked some of the instruments we needed for karaoke, such as the shamisen, a Japanese string instrument. They were able to add those for us on a custom circuit board. With that, we had all the pieces ready. The team was able to secure new sound chips for their machine. they were one step closer to realizing their concept. The goal was in sight for the team, but would they be able to compete with existing karaoke products? They needed to convince the company's management group. There was no turning back at this point. 
A plan was set in motion for their pitch meeting. The team figured out what songs the management group liked. Then they picked out songs that were easy to sing and let them try it out. It went so well that the management group agreed this would appeal to most people out there, that this really could work. So the team got the go-ahead. Finally, in September 1992, the company's first online karaoke machine was finished. The team went to sell their product to various drinking establishments. They pointed out the pros of their online karaoke service. But not many were convinced. The reason was immediately apparent. Most karaoke singers at these pubs were middle-aged or older. The company hadn't been able to get permission for many of the older hits that appealed to this particular group of people. There were a lot of songs that we just couldn't get the rights for. And they were the ones that were popular at the shops we were targeting. We heard that customers giving our machines a try would get mad that their song wasn't on there. Was there another way to sell their service? The team looked towards rental karaoke rooms, which were gaining in popularity. These were large facilities which housed many smaller rooms and booths for rental. They were becoming a hit with younger people. With this new target in mind, the developers looked towards adding more songs to their service. They watched all the music programs they could on TV, trying to figure out what young people wanted to sing. Their search came up with 2,000 songs. After securing the right permissions, they got to work creating the music data. The team worked over many days and nights. After two months, they were able to assemble the 2,000 tracks. The team had created a machine that could play from a basic set of 5,000 songs. The end of 1992. To celebrate the completion of the new machine, the staff that worked on the music data gathered to have a party. They rented out a banquet hall and, of course, brought one of their new karaoke machines. Everyone had a blast singing their hearts out. Despite its small size, the machine played songs for over four hours with no repeated tracks. Someone in charge of the banquet hall was watching all this go on. He tapped one of the team members on the back. Had they made too much noise? The team member cautiously turned around. Excuse me, could you sell me this machine? Unlike with laser discs, you can get straight to another track. You really could just keep on singing with our machine. I hear the man from the banquet hall saw this and asked for one on the spot. After all that had happened, it was so validating. 
That was how the value of the online karaoke service became recognized. Afterwards, machines were installed at rental karaoke rooms across Japan, with young people lining up to have a turn.